Excellent. Megan, great to meet you. I'm calling from Chicago. And uh, I, I write for the LGBT uh, publication. So I wanted to talk about the LGBT content that was in the show, throughout the show, and yeah. things like that. Um, can you talk a bit about that with the rainbow? I saw rainbows and everything. Yeah, I mean, Berlin, where this show, show takes place, is an incredible bastion of uh, LGBTQ culture. And we wanted to, you know, really make that known and show the positivity that we all felt in Berlin. So for Gisela, her character, um, you know, I think that she would be a gay icon if she existed in real life. She's modeled after Lady Gaga. In my head, she's like evil Lady Gaga. So we uh, wanted to make sure that pride was part of her fan base. Um, but that, you know, the city of Berlin is such an incredible a bastion of queer culture. Yeah, I've been to the gay bars there with the fur on the walls and everything. It was really Yes, fun. I also went to a gay bar there, which was incredibly fun. I also <laughs> did my job. If anyone who works on the show is listening, I did my job too. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, and you wrote, you wrote for Transparent a long time ago, right? I did, which was like an incredible experience. I, between seasons of The Good Place, I wrote for season three of Transparent. Oh, awesome. That's great. Um, so did they think about, did you think about having cameos from more of the older cast from Pitch Perfect or was that hard to, to get? Well, so we, you know, had to walk sort of a fine line. Um, Bumper and Peter obviously are characters from the first and second movie. They were antagonists in the movies. Um, and we, for this outing, didn't want to have too many other Pitch Perfect characters bleed into their world. We really wanted to focus on deepening their characters. I will say if we were to get a second season, I would love to explore more cameos uh, to bring into the fold. Yeah, would he go, would Bumper go to some other country? Do you have other countries in mind? This was a big topic of conversation on set, partially because we shot in March in Berlin and it was so cold that everyone, as a joke, kept being like, okay, Megan, uh, bumper in Bali next year. Um, I think that the show has a very exciting, again, hopefully, future ahead of it because in bringing him to Berlin, he now can go all over Europe. He can be taken back to America, he could go to Buffalo, New York. I could see so many different ways that the character continues his uh, international journey. Mm -hmm. What what songs would you like to still see performed? Is there a song that you, you know, wanted to see that wasn't in it or? The, I was very surprised at how many rights to songs we were able to get. And I think it is a testament to the staying power and pure love that people feel for Pitch Perfect. Like we, the writers in episode two, decided to put Message in a Bottle, Taylor's version into the show. And I, uh, it was the song that we all loved and Sono Patel who wrote it, she really loved it. Um, I didn't know if we could get a Taylor Swift song, but then lo and behold, we got to do it, which was so amazing. I really like the song Unholy by Sam Smith and Kim Petras, who is a German pop star. And um, that's the first one off the top of my head that I think would be fun in acapella form. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I love yeah, what I love both of them. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. What are you working on next? What do you want to, what are you doing next? Well, um, I, it is funny because that is such a writer thing to a, a finish a show and then be like, oh, well, now I'm a failure because I haven't been writing a script for five days or whatever, waiting to see how this show does and if we get the privilege of doing a second season. Um, but I'm always writing and trying to think of silly things that I can do with these people. Sarah Highland is an incredible singer and has been on Broadway before. And I was like, maybe I got to write a musical that... Sarah can be in. I'm a huge musical theater fan, so. Yeah, I just talked to her uh, about musicals, so that's great. That's perfect, so. Yes, we um, were singing Wicked a lot on set, so it was a pretty it. fun vibe for us. I don't know about every other person. <laughs> well, I hope your show is popular 
And um, it was great talking to you today. Thank you so much. So nice to talk to you.